And a search warrant recently served in a cockfighting investigation leads to more than 100 birds seized from a Luzerne County home. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Aaron Leedy and has the night off. Fox 56 is Taylor Wharton be live in the news center with more details on this. Taylor. That's right, Aaron. This all began on March 15th of this year when the Luzerne County SPCA received a lead regarding a possible cockfighting ring in Sugarloaf Township. According to the Luzerne County District Attorney, a visit to the residence by SPCA officers revealed numerous roosters with evidence that they were used for fighting, had a lack of water and food, and other items consistent with activity related to cockfighting or animal abuse. On April 10th, officers from the SPCA, along with detectives from the District Attorney's Office, executed a search warrant on the residence of 62-year-old Ronaldo de Jesus Castillo and 69-year-old Annie's Martyrs Castillo on Sugarloaf Heights Road. The search yielded 77 live hens, 59 live roosters, two dead roosters, 30 eggs and multiple gloves used to cover rooster spurs to practice fighting and a package of super vermigallo, a substance known to be used to promote fighting. I spoke to Samson Metzger, lead avian specialist at the Wilders at Pocono Wildlife Rehabilitation Center, who says roosters are put up against each other to fight to the death or severe injury. Cockfighting is the use of um, male chickens, so roosters, uh, and they are put against each other. Usually there's money bets on it. Metzger tells me this is disturbing how it continues to be a common occurrence, even close to home. We do get enough calls where it's definitely concerning uh, how much of a common occurrence uh, this abuse is. The sad reality is, is that a probable portion of these birds are going to get euthanized. They end up being the sweetest birds as long as you care for them and give them the time they need. Police have not made any arrests in connection with this matter and the investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information regarding this case is asked to contact SPCA officers Wayne Harvey or Vicki Van Gorder. Reporting live, I'm Taylor Wartenby with Fox 56 News first at 10. Taylor, thanks. This weekend is Commonwealth University Bloomsburg's annual unsanctioned block party week.